Hey guys, it's Arcade and I'm back with another video. And in this one, I'm going to be making some 8-bit gaming Keegan music. I'm not exactly sure how to explain it, but it's basically gonna be that type of music you would hear in Tetris back in the day or in Keegan's or something like that. And to make this music, I'm going to be using mostly Nexus because it has this expansion that is all about 8-bit sounds. And it's not a sponsor, but if you have Nexus, this expansion is actually free, so you can use it as well. So yeah, it's this one called Sid and it has all these 8-bit presets. And before we get started, Started, make sure to check out my sample packs on my website goldclassaudio.com. My favorites personally are Everything Tropical and Everything House. Those are the best sample packs that will provide you with all the sounds you need and all the presets you need for creating that style of music. And if you use the code ARCADE you will get $5 off. Anyways, now let's get back to the video. So yeah, let's get started and I think I'm gonna get started with some basic bass line. So yeah, I like this sound. So let's see, I'm not sure what the BPM is gonna be. I'm not sure about anything really. I haven't prepared anything, so we'll see what I can come up with. And I feel like Keegan music and stuff like that is all about the melodies as well. It's uh, really enjoyable to listen to. So yeah, right now I'm just thinking of a bass melody to use, so it's kind of important. So I think I'm gonna extend it like this, so it's gonna repeat twice. And then it's gonna go lower. Okay, maybe this is the bass melody we're gonna use. And also, let's add this little clicky sound that I hear in a lot of Keegan music. Okay, this is the sound. Yeah, hey, let's just make that rhythm and it follows the same notes as the bass. Okay. And that's it. So let's hear with the bass. Anyways, now let's uh, make the drums. And for the drums, we actually have a few options here. We can use a loop from Nexus, or we can use these kits. To be honest, I don't really like these drums. I feel like they are too 8 bd and too distorted. And they might not even like work in the song. But then again, the drums are not really the important thing in this type of music. They are just kind of in the background. But let's see how it sounds. Okay, for now, let's keep it this way. I'm not sure about the drums, but we're gonna work with them. And let's uh, add the melody, which is probably the most enjoyable part of creating this. Actually, let's add an arpeggio first. but probably a less aggressive sound for this arpeggio. Yeah. I wonder if, if I copy these notes, if it will work. Probably not, but let's do it anyways and see. Yeah, it doesn't work. But we just have to switch these two, I think. Yeah, that's it. So now it works. Uh, because some chords are minor and some chords are major, you always have to just switch one note. So if it doesn't fit, then just put these two notes up. And that's it. So let's copy that over again. And now let's do the second part. And yeah, that's sh that should work. So yeah, so far so good. The whole mix is not quite right, but I'm gonna fix that later. First, let's focus on the composition. Let's add the melody now. So we have the arpeggio, we have the bass. Anyways, the melody. Okay, let's try this sound first. Yeah, 
Let's actually remove this sound for now because I feel like it's overlapping with the other sounds and creates these weird frequency overlaps where it doesn't sound good at all. So, and definitely enable the legato. Okay, I don't like this sound because it has this phase on it where it keeps changing the sound. Let me see if I can turn that off, but probably not. As you can hear, I don't like that, so... Okay, this is harder than I thought. So when it comes to creating a melody, I say this in most of my videos, I basically just listen to the beat that I have prepared and then imagine a melody in my head. But first, usually I just pick a note that fits, like this E, and then I go from there. And the first part of the melody is always harder, and then your brain kind of creates the melody in your head based on your expectations of what the melody should be. So yeah, basically I started making the melody in piano roll, just kind of randomly, and then it starts building up in my head, and then I try to transfer it from my head to piano roll. As far as creating melodies for me goes, there is no music theory involved. So yeah, let's hear it. I'm thinking of an arpeggio here, but I'm not sure. The thing about these 8-bit gaming music tracks is that you can just have fun and play around with different melodies and you can hear even in the Kiga music and stuff that they enjoy the process of making them because they are so like enjoyable melodies to listen to. So it's all about just uh, having fun and creating these melodies that you love to create. Okay, and this sound, I'm putting it back but I'm gonna put stereo shaper on it and make it stereo so it's kind of in different parts of the mix, it's not like in the center with all the other sounds, but it's more wider in the mix, so it doesn't overlap as much. <laughs> this is crazy to make. It's a lot of fun though, I'm just creating these crazy melodies that you would probably never create in normal music because it is too much, but in this type of music it's exactly what it needs, so it's a lot of fun creating these melodies. I'm still thinking about changing this sound, so let's try a few different presets and see if any of them works better. So yeah, this sound might not be better, but in this part of the song it definitely works better. So let me use this sound as well as the other sound. Okay, let's stack the layers, shall we? So I'm gonna use all these sounds, why not? They're all good sounds, they each have their strong sides and their weak sides. So if we use them all, hopefully it will work pretty well. And let's put them all on the same channel, number six, for example. Maybe do some mixing, a little bit of mixing. Not sure how exactly. Let's kind of do a second part of the song where it's almost as if it was a soundtrack and the second part is just like, this is the main theme, let's say, and the second part would be a more calm variation of this main theme. You know how it is in soundtracks where they use the same melodies and stuff but different instruments and different rhythm? Let's see if we can do something like that. 
So I love this sound because it's like Legend of Zelda or something. So yeah, I didn't talk much because I was focusing on how I make the melody, but I got an idea now. Okay, let's actually use an effect here, and I think orchestral drums, something like this. And this will be the build-up, pretty much. Uh... Yeah, and here I would love like a little fill drum. <laughs> First of all, let's use this riser. That's one effect, and let's also use these drums. And yeah guys, that is pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video and let's hear the finished result. And yeah guys, that is pretty much it for this video. It was a lot of fun to make and it's a lot of fun to play around creating these melodies that are just so crazy. And yeah, thanks for making it to the end. I'm sure you skipped. But yeah, anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to see more videos like this one or more educational videos like my other videos. Before I end this video, make sure to go to my website goldclassaudio.com and get yourself a sample pack that will work for your music and use the code ARCADE to get $5 off. There are a lot of different sample packs on my website, but I can definitely recommend everything tropical and everything house. But that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.